Let's talk about the new ad campaign from Cisco that's okay. uh, breaking this week. Yes, on Monday. Yeah. Let's Absolutely. talk about it. What What's new about it? This is sure. brand new creative for you? Sure. Talk about the, the brand platform behind it. Absolutely. Um, and brand platform is an important uh, phrase because mm -hmm. this is very much a brand strategy, not just a, a marketing campaign. Although it's really fun to talk about the pieces <laughs> of a marketing campaign. Sure. Uh, we kicked it off on Tuesday with our employees. You know, they are our number one brand ambassadors. Mm -hmm. We're getting them really excited. There's a huge role for them both to understand that brand promise, but also to be a part of really connecting and amplifying our voice. And how long a process has that been, So getting them on board? So we kicked it off to them uh, broadly on Tuesday okay. of this week um, mm -hmm. at a company meeting. We've been uh, leaving breadcrumbs along the way. We've mm -hmm. been talking to them about really the next big market transition we're seeing called the Internet of Everything. Mm -hmm. So we've been educating them. We've been talking about that. Uh, it's really a brand strategy that is in service of our corporate strategy and that is very much tied to the Internet of Everything. Um, so let's talk a little bit about specifically the creative. Sure, happy to. See. So what we're going to see on Monday is a multimedia, very integrated marketing and communications campaign. So we've got television and print advertising, as you'd expect, mm -hmm. uh, but we're doing a tremendous amount of work in digital uh, and social. We're also bringing in our public relations work, analyst relations work, Given this is essentially a two to three year plan, we're also building quite a bit of thought leadership research. Mm -hmm. And it's all coming together and introducing to the world on Monday, December 10th. It's going to be global. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very excited because we're doing this a little bit differently. We are really leveraging the medium along with the message. Mm -hmm. The underlying premise for what we're driving is Cisco's brand promises. We bring value or make amazing things happen when you connect the unconnected. But it's a hard... Uh, service to really articulate it in is very a 30 difficult. second spot. It is very difficult. So we're leveraging technology in the medium to show what happens when you connect the unconnected. And we're really bringing our story to life using augmented reality or layer technology in one form of how we're uh, delivering the message. We're also do, doing quite a bit in social and having some really deep and rich conversations through our digital marketing hub. Uh, so it's very exciting. It's a new look and feel. We have a brand new tagline. Uh, the tagline is tomorrow starts here. Mm -hmm. We're very excited about that. It really gives our customers and our partners an understanding of you, know, you can't just focus on today because that's nearsighted. And you can't just focus on tomorrow because it's not grounded in reality. Mm -hmm. And this new market transition really gives us a chance to see what you have in your business today and how you can really get prepared for tomorrow and it that's starts great. with Cisco. So there's a lot of innovation obviously going yes. into this, specifically into this campaign, yes. um, which reflects the innovation that's going on at Cisco in general. Yes. So talk about sort of what you wanted to really have come through the campaign that reflects or mirrors the innovation that's going on at the company. Sure. Well, really our, our corporate strategy is very much focused on driving value for our, our customers. Mm -hmm. And when we drive value for customers by connecting the unconnected, that's what gets everyone excited. And by connecting the unconnected, mm -hmm. can you give me an example? Sure. We, really, the underlying pr premise is that amazing things are possible mm -hmm. when you connect the unconnected. Any company can connect. Uh, drive connections. Our customers are driving connections, but it's that value that you create from it. So when you think about um, all this work that we did with the conventions here in the U sure. United States, mm -hmm. we completely enabled the conventions, both of them. And it wasn't just the speeds and the feeds and the connections we brought, but the value on engaging citizens, and we helped them become a participant mm -hmm. in the convention, whether they were there or not. Right. They became more educated. It drove a better platform for the Republican and the Democratic Party. So that's value. Mm -hmm. that comes out of these connections. Right. That's in Cisco's DNA. We've been creating connections since we were founded 29 years ago on Monday, actually. So it really gives us a chance to ground our brand strategy and our purpose. And that's what we're sharing with our, our customers. Now, this is clearly, this is a campaign directed at your customers. Mm -hmm. um, talk about where consumers come into play and sort of to what extent there's a value in branding Cisco to consumers, sure. to end users. Sure. Yeah. Well, clearly, our largest customer segment are, are the, the enterprises, sure. both small and large, as mm -hmm. well as service providers. Um, but remember, companies are made up of people, sure. people like you and I. Mm -hmm. So these knowledge workers today, the, the, the true talent of today and tomorrow for our customers, they're using, using these social technologies. They're connecting across the board. In fact, they are demanding and pulling IT solutions uh, from the business. And if they can't get them, they'll go to the cloud and do it themselves. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. it's a huge opportunity for us to really educate everyone in the kind of campaign that we're driving. 
Talk about your agency strategy behind it. I know this is the new work from mm -hmm. Goodby, which you have a new relationship with. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. So uh, we really p began partnering with Goodby in June. Mm -hmm. uh, G GSP, Goodby, Silverstein, and Partners. Partners There's yeah. a whole Absolutely. team behind there. Um, and we could not be more pleased. Uh, they brought to us uh, some really fresh ideas, as well as they really designed everything for digital marketing. Mm -hmm. And really, that's where our customers, that's where our partners are mm -hmm. uh, in the social world and really trying to extend our reach and our voice there. Uh, so they've been a great match for us. Uh, really enjoy working with them. They, as I said, brought a whole new perspective to Cisco. And, uh, so far, we're really pleased. So let's talk a little bit more about the media because mm -hmm. you did say that it's obviously it's very multifaceted. Yep. Um, there's a thought leadership component to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, content marketing strategy has been core to Cisco overall marketing strategy for a while now. Yes. How does this specifically build on the content strategy and sort of the thought leadership um, aspect? Sure. Well, uh, what Cisco does can be complex to people, mm -hmm. and as uh, you know, whenever you want to try to tell a complex story, thirty seconds doesn't always do it. So our content is really important. It has to be very clear. Mm -hmm. And it also really has to draw the line from the big idea all the way down to the solution and the value sure. that we bring. So we've taken a very pragmatic approach with uh, GSP, or Goodby Silverstein's, and partners help to understand how do we map all of our content together. Mm -hmm. So we take our customers and our partners on a journey uh, through the whole process. And that's been core. We've actually uh, used a lot of content that we already had and just are bringing it together in a different hierarchy, nesting it differently, mm -hmm. uh, to really be able to tell that story. Now this is a global campaign. It is. So talk a little bit about the challenge of being global and creating a kind of a global brand platform, but also being locally relevant, which is clearly something that right. all global marketers are struggling Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Right and I don't think any of us have found the, the <laughs> easiest way to do that. I'm very pleased that this is a global campaign from day one. We've created uh, the core content in multiple languages mm -hmm. and making sure that it's available from day one. Uh, we'll still be able to give our field marketing teams and our teams on the ground the ability to have local relevance mm -hmm. as they take the content, the messaging, uh, and some of this really cool technology, and then put it into place that works for them. Yep. Uh, we'll start on December 10th, but to be fair, this is a two, three, maybe even a 101 year <laughs> campaign <laughs> if we do our job right. And we're really trying to design for that so we have, uh, we give our regions the most flexibility Got so it. they can take this and make it relevant to their so customers. So it's consistent but customized. Absolutely. At the same time. Absolutely. That's great. Now, you've been in your role as CMO for only 18 months now, but you've yes. been at Cisco. For many years, 14 since years. Absolutely. Um, talk a little bit about sort of what has been your job one, you know, since you arrived, and, and what have you really made your priority as CMO of the company? Sure. Well, I think there's a tremendous amount of uh, opportunity for Cisco to really strengthen our brand. Mm -hmm. We have been one of the most valuable brands for years, but it's never enough. Mm -hmm. And really strong brand leaders have to continue to be clear mm -hmm. on their brand strategy. So when I came in, I realized there were some branding opportunities. Uh, really getting focused on our core sweet spot, that enterprise uh, and service provider business. So mm -hmm. that was one. Uh, and then I balanced it between being a marketing engine, where we're using all the science for marketing, mm -hmm. and going really deep and increasing the quality of our content. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that uh, sort of brand view in mind and looking at that engine and that content focus, those have there's really been sort of the triangle mm -hmm. that we've gone after yep. uh, for our priorities. How um, dominant or what kind of a role does the marketing organization play and what, how vital is marketing to the Cisco I, I believe overall? it's very well uh, respected mm -hmm. and a very important part. I mean, at the heart of it, Cisco is an engineering and sales sure. company. Yeah. We always have been. Uh, we sit in service and in partnership with them. Uh, but we're part of the operating committee. I sit on our operating committee. Uh, we uh, sit very closely with our engineering and our sales and our services team mm -hmm. when we build strategy. And as I have reminded everyone, this is a brand strategy in service of our corporate strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's an arm. We kick off with our investor conference tomorrow, and what our investors will hear is absolutely consistent and really the reason we're driving this brand strategy and this marketing campaign. So they're very interlocked. Has there been a lot of organizational change inside? There has been, yeah. yep, we have. We have really looked at our models, uh, mm -hmm. not just for efficiency, but also to really address the changing needs of our market. Mm -hmm. We have a number of changes in our buying centers, who our customers are. So we've moved a bit around to make sure we're reflecting that. And also we've moved a bit around our go-to-market so that we can be as efficient and take advantage of all this amazing technology to really drive demand and really be able to hold ourselves accountable. So there has been changes, all good, really reflecting where the market's going and really where the discipline of marketing is going as well. 